Good afternoon, welcome to Old Trafford for the European Championship qualifier between England and Macedonia. Steve McLaren's fourth game in charge of the national team and so far it's been an absolute doddle. A new dawn for England. What a start to John Terry's captaincy. Crouch, Gerrard. Confidence is high. Running, it's enjoyable when you score. Gerard. England are in the lead. I'm emotional and passionate about the game and I want to win. We've set a standard to maintain for the future. England have started a qualifying campaign with back to back wins for the first time in a decade. Steve, first of all, you've lost Rio Ferdinand. How much of a disruption has that been? Well, obviously, it's uh, last minute, so it's a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a blow for us. Uh, but Ledley King comes in, he's looked good all week, and uh, every confidence in him. Now, you preferred King to Carragher, why? Um, just We just felt that Ledley can, can probably give us more coming out from defence, set plays, and things like that. And he's done well in the week. And, uh, He's played at this level before, he's played with John Terry before, and we're expecting them to be a good partnership. Now all week people have been talking about formulas and formations. 4-4-2 four, four, it looks like you're going to start with, why is that? Um, we've played it for three games, we've won the three, we've scored ten and conceded none, and there was no need to change from that. The players are very, very comfortable in it, uh, they've looked comfortable in it in every game, so we're starting with that. Well it's 4-4-2 four, four, or 3-5-2, we should beat this, shouldn't we, this team? We've got to give them respect, but it's about us, it's about our performance. As long as we perform to our capabilities and play as we can, uh, then we expect to win every game. Good luck. Thanks very much. But I don't think there'll be any problems. Yeah. He's the leader uh, of the moment. You would expect a strong, dominant performance. Huh? Yeah, I would, uh, Steve McLaren will just say to them, just go and carry the good work on. You've done great for me so far in the three games. I've really been impressed with you. Just go and do it again. Nothing to fear. OK. It's England versus Macedonia. Let's join our commentators, Mark Lawrenson and John Motson, who made his match of the day debut on this day 35 years ago, John. Don't remind me, Gary. <laughs> another time, another place, as far as I'm concerned. And that goes for Macedonia, too, because four years ago, they came to Southampton in a European qualifier and drew 2-2. But they're 25 to 1 outsiders today to go one better and beat England. They've got some supporters here. And if they as much as score a goal, they'll rob John Terry's team of a record because if England keep a clean sheet, it'll be six in a row. Equaling sequences achieved under Alf Ramsey in 1966, Don Reevey in 1974 and Bobby Robson in 1983. The last man to score against England, Henrik Larsson of Sweden in the World Cup. But as they hit the pitch, another record, the crowd. It's expected to exceed 71,000 and that will be the biggest attendance ever to watch an England home game outside Wembley. There were over 70,000 here for the friendly against Jamaica before the World Cup, but since then the Old Trafford capacity has been increased to 76,000, and it's a very big welcome for an England team looking to make it nine points out of nine at the start of this European Championship qualifying campaign. Mark Lawrenson's with me. What do you make of this today? I think England will win, John. I think uh, what everybody's looking for will be professional performance. And we highlighted, obviously, Carrick coming in, Ledley King come in as well. And it'd be nice if Rooney got some of his form back, got a goal, because I think the game we'll see on Wednesday night against Croatia and Zaga will be completely different from what we will see today. I don't think there's any doubt about that whatsoever. And that, for me, will be the more sterner test. Absolutely. Croatia will play Andorra today, as a matter of fact. Um, but the uh, as the FA officials come out to be presented to the teams, um, Macedonia have got a very mixed record. They, as I say, they drew in England four years ago. They've also drawn with Holland in the Amsterdam Arena. But by the same token, they've twice lost to Andorra. So, what we make of them, we shall see today. The uh, 
six clean sheets I, I referred to. Of course, it's under two managers really. Sven Joran Eriksson in charge in the victories against Ecuador. Uh, the victory against Ecuador. Portugal was nil nil in normal and extra time, and then of course under Steve McLaren, five nil Greece, five nil Andorra, and one nil in Macedonia. That's their captain and number four. Borce Sedlowski used to play for Sheffield Wednesday and uh, most of these players are dotted around Eastern Europe with their club football but the man to keep an eye on will be number 19 Goran Pandev who plays in Serie A there he is in Italy he plays for Lazio and uh, he, he's, he's one to watch Macedonia go to Andorra on Wednesday as these groups begin to take shape now in the European Championship and Old Trafford's been a good ground for England they've only lost two of 15 matches to be played here and now we shall have the national anthems they'll be sung by the Irish opera star Shirley Keane just to prove there is still a Keane performing at Old Trafford Got a shot there of uh, halfway through the anthem of Shrekesko Katanec, the coach. Shakes and the England team showing four changes. A back injury in training yesterday he rules out Rio Ferdinand and brings in Ledley King. Gary Neville returns at right back. Michael Carrick replaces Owen Hargreaves in midfield. And Wayne Rooney, only two goals in his last 17 internationals, is back from suspension. And uh, Macedonia, they make one change from the first match in Skopje last month. That's in midfield where Alexander Mitrevsky, who's no relation to Igor at the back, comes into a 3-5-2 formation really. But look to Pandev, who I mentioned from Lazio, pushing up behind the two strikers. Now on the bench, if Steve McLaren did want to change the formation, is Sean Wright Phillips. He could come on and they could go to the 3-5-2 that's been so much debated. Scott Parker's back in the picture among the England substitutes there as well as uh, Darren Bent who was called up when Andrew Johnson was injured I wonder whether Steve McLaren practiced that formation during the week more in, more in thought of Wednesday's game than this one well arguably John as well and uh, 
The only thing about that would be you won't be too sure until this finishes tonight, just before seven o'clock, what personnel you're going to have available. But yeah, I, th I think also the other thing, I think eventually, I mean, McLaren's only been in a job a short space of time, but eventually you want to be able, even during the course of games, to be able to change the system. I think, I think that's the key, not just to, at the start of that game. Well, we should wait and see. They seemed in good heart there, didn't they? Uh, the England coach and his assistant, Terry Venables. Marcus Merck from Germany, an experienced referee. He took charge of England versus France in the European Championships of 2004 and also referee the Champions League final here in 2003. Milan and Juventus. So it's England to play left to right in the first half. Macedonia all in red. 5 0 wins already under Steve McLaren against Greece and Andorra here. Is that expecting a bit too much today, I wonder? The way Macedonia played in the second half in Skopje, it might be. Off we go. Here's Frank Lampard. To Crouch. He's well in number 10. Rooney is in 9 free kick to England and Ledley King played in that game against France uh, I recall at the start of Euro 2004 and played very well in the position where he is now here's Lampard Crouch's turn Sedlowski got a foot in there for Macedonia but he's out the play at the moment this is Ashley Cole to Stuart Downing and there's Lazarevsky the right wing back wearing number 14 Lampard Carrick wants it square. Steve McLaren practicing width and more width in the training, and there goes Wayne Rooney. He was chirpy in the session they had yesterday. And Carrick penalised. Thought it was a good tackle myself. England's get a tempo here from the start, don't they? They do, and, and in fairness, in the last few games they've played here, John, which we know, they have had that tempo, haven't they? They've scored lots of goals also. Already Pandev is well forward there with uh, Maznov and Naumovsky for Macedonia. The left wing back is Petrov, who's wearing number three. Nice cool evening here. Good playing conditions. It was Pandek, in fact, trying to find Petrov. It's Gary Neville who he's up against. Well, I think they already look a little bit more ambitious than Andorra did, Mark. Don't go too early, John. Hardly crossed the halfway line, did they? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Noveski, the left-sided defender, wearing number two. Don't change the system much, uh, Macedonia. Katanets, the coach, was in charge of Slovenia when they got to the finals of the European Championship and the World Cup. He likes his 3-5-2. Good play by Neville. Here's Rooney. All eyes on him today. Oh. Gerard. Cole. Outside him is Downing here. Wasn't getting anything to go there. This is John Terry. Neville. Now Rooney and Crouch making their respective runs here. This is Rooney. Steve McLaren wants those two to pull the Macedonia defenders around and make way for the likes of Gerard and Lampard to come from midfield. That's what he was practicing during the week. There's Rooney. Oh, it's a good turn. Crouch has pulled away to this side, jumping now. Oh, goalkeeper snatching. As Lampard came in. I think not only the turn of uh, Rooney, John, but the touch. I think the touch is outstanding, wasn't it? That's Ledley King. And also a good touch by Crouch there, sets up Downing. Defender got a foot to that. 
England are going to have a corner. And uh, Ledley King will now play a part in the set plays in the absence of Ferdinand. Taken short though, this is Downing. And John Terry far post. Goes down in a heat, looks at the assistant referee mark. Yeah, he's claiming he was held, isn't he? Well, there was a shirt pulling on Peter Crouch in the first game in Skopje that wasn't given. Here's Gerard. Crouch's far post now. Comes back out to Downing. Terry's there again. Heads it down, but uh, England now may have to hurry back. Well, there was certainly a, a gesture by John Terry there, suggesting his shirt was pulled. This is Pandev on the break. And now Masnov. Downing seeing plenty of the ball early on. Rooney. Lampard. The shot's on here for Frank Lampard. Right first five minutes. Well, I think also we've seen down the left, Downing and Cole, lots of space, lots of the ball, and Ditto really the right now with Neville and, and Steven Gerrard, and that, that is the sort of areas to attack teams like this. I think also the crosses were decent, weren't they, when they came in three or four all together, and there looks a little bit of panic in there. This is the player who came into the side from the first game, Alexander Mitrevsky wearing six. And there's number five, who is Igor Mitrescu, but they're not related. Up in the uh, hospitality area where the FA officials have lunch, and there's a gesture made, or well, in fact it was made further down on the pitch, but the gesture was uh, discussed for the Macedonian FA to present the English FA with a flag to express their sorrow at Macedonia fans burning an English flag three years ago. This is Ashley Cole. To Carrick. Lampard. Strong run. He's got uh, Neville outside him. Maznov. A decent turn. This is Pandev. Maznov pointing to Pandev to send it down the centre again, but other ideas there. Noveski. Certainly Pandev is pushing on so far, Mark. It's almost a front three when Macedonia had the ball. Yeah, they're trying to make it a three, but the thing about that, John, is then there's a little bit more extra room for England in midfield, that being the case. Absolutely. Goalkeeper Nikolovsky here didn't particularly enjoy that back pass. Ledley King who missed the World Cup for injury. Here comes Neville. Oh, he's found Gerard. Rooney near post, Crouch is far, Rooney! Injury to one of the uh, Macedonia players, up the best the number two, but it's Gerard on the ball. They're down to ten at the moment, he's just got up, this is Neville. He was in a collision with Neville, he got hurt. Here's Petrov. Well, a decent pace to this, isn't it? No, there is, which is great. I think from Macedonia's point of view, they, they have got the ball down on a couple of occasions, but when they've put, been put under any pressure, they've reverted to the long ball and consequently given it back to England. There was a collision with uh, Neville. Neville did nothing wrong. No, number two met number two there, and the... Oh, it's Downing now on the far side. Carrick. Lampard. England working it well here, it's actually Cole. And again, Rooney and Crouch waiting, cleared by Sedlowski. Only as far as Carrick. Lampard, Downing. Petrov able to clear. England are getting bodies forward there, and getting the ball wide. Shumilikovsky started that move. Which 
just felt that Downing's cross was uh, behind everybody, wasn't it? Ashley Cole also, and I think Stevie Gerrard and usually down the right-hand side. Well, the plan was to get in as many crosses as possible. It's not to see England playing too narrow, Steve McLaren. very much home now to the Indian team, isn't it? It's, is it six years since uh, since Wembley, and then they went round the country for quite a while. Uh, 71,000 here today. Only defeat in recent times England have suffered here was against Denmark in a friendly. This is Rooney. Trying to get Crouching on this side. Yeah, you can see what he meant, just uh, overhit a little bit and Crouch really hasn't got that pain. De repente um beijo e o silêncio E nos amamos loucamente Shumalikovsky Petra Shumalikovsky again, number eight, Tanda and Tandev's got it back from Maznev. And Tandev looking dangerous here. Side netting. Well, in the end, he ran out of room, didn't he? But for Pandev just to get in that little position as well, it's a scare for England. Well, it was 11 goals in uh, 22 Serie A games last season for Lazio. That's a good ratio, number 19 there. It's a good little ball into him as well, wasn't it? I think it was from Namoski. And here they come again. Deep cross towards Maznov. Foul on Neville. Yes, John. Yeah. Good header as well. Good defensive. Had a great position to be in. It's the only way you can get the, on the end of that ball if you're a forward is to foul the defender. So. But they are showing a propensity to go forward and yeah. take the game to England when they can, Mark. Yeah. They're not going to come here and just get everybody behind the ball and stay in their own half. I think as long as England defend properly, I don't think that's a great problem at all, but it just means that the game will open up a little bit. Well, we have a full-time score from Cardiff, and it's not very encouraging for uh, <laughs> British hopes in the European Championship. Wales 1, Slovakia 5. But one moment of uh, consolation for them. The Southampton fullback Gareth Bale became the youngest ever Wales goalscorer at 17 years and 83 days. Having said that, it was their heaviest defeat for a decade. This is Lampard for England. So John Toshak's team taking a real spanking there. Lampard again. Sedlowski. with the glasses and uh, played quite a supportive role to Steve McLaren since he rejoined the England contingent. Two of them taking training sessions jointly. This is Goran Maznov again, plays for Lochran in Belgium. Now looking for Namovsky. Only a couple of players in their squad actually play their club football in Macedonia. Downing's pass is placed there. Shumikovsky, Mitrovsky. England just going through a little spell here of, of trying to force the play and can't afford to get frustrated. Just keep passing the ball, the openings will come. Katanec there on the right. Lampard. Rooney. Carrick. Neville. Oh, 
already Macedonia has shown enough to uh, provide the crowd with evidence that this is not going to be the, just the Andorra type walkover for England not by the look of the first few minutes anyway well I think you only had to watch, see the game from Scope John to realise that didn't they it's Andorra with the dog and duck weren't they Gary Neville, Rooney's making a run near post now. Oh, Jounce is waiting to come in too. Neville's still in there. Tackle by Rooney. Just the final ball again, wasn't it, Gary Neville? Just the selection of the pass is the important thing. Referee's walking towards Wayne Rooney for this tackle. That's all he did. Yeah. But uh, Inchko Namovsky on the ground. Crowd suggesting he's making rather a lot of it. I'm with the crowd. <laughs> Plays in Austria. The England attack that led up to it was uh, another bright piece of work. Gary Neville was the free man there, Mark. Yeah, just what we said about the selection of the cross runners, it, it needed to be stood up a little bit higher because you see both Lampard's in there and Crouch as well, and in the end it was easily dealt with. England have actually got themselves in, in good positions, in wide positions, but as of yet, not really delivered. They are getting the width, this is Neville. Carrick, King, I think now Mosque is just trying to get back onto the pitch, right, yes he had to go off after receiving attention, it's been a long time getting him back on, while Macedonia have played with 10, he can get on now I should think, another tackle by Rooney, yeah, nothing better than forwards tackling back, Rooney. Just another incident, as it were. Just, just trying to force it a little bit too much. Now to back comes Igor Mitreski, looking for Naumovsky. Neville just knows how to deal with that sort of threat. Gary Neville tonight winning his 83rd England cap. He's ninth in the all-time list now. England might be playing at home again in the group in a competitive match until next season. They've got away games coming up in the new year, although there is a friendly planned for February I gather a home friendly well, a little frustration really Ledley King wanted to play in front of Gary Neville and Gary Neville wants it to his feet Four hundred and eighty minutes at the start of this match, England had gone without conceding a goal. So we're coming up to five hundred, aren't we? Carrick. Forcing the throw, gaining ground for England. This is Rooney. Normovsky. Here's 
Chris Crouch. England trying to work the ball into a wide crossing position. There goes Cole. He's got Downing outside him. He's found Rooney, who's got Gerrard on this side. Just breaking down a bit there, Mark. Yeah, just his touch, Rooney, wasn't it? You can see he's, he tried to open his body out just to take it, sort of flick it sideways, and just got it slightly wrong. Here's Gerrard to Carrick. Lampard, Rooney, Crouch. Macedonia just funneling back. This is Gary Neville. And now Petrov as they break out. Maznov allowing Shimonikovsky to take over. As we reach the 20 minute mark here. Terry not quite able to get the tackle in there, but he might the second time, the interception that is. Lampard. Oh, and Crouch gets uh, knocked over by Igor Mitreski, number five. He's got to be a bit careful, he's on a yellow card, as indeed are five of the Macedonians from previous games. Another one today would mean they would be ruled out of Wednesday's match, and England also have um, Ashley Cole, Stephen Gerrard and Peter Crouch on a yellow card. Well, no doubt about the foul, it was also quite clever because it completely stopped England as they were trying to break away. Carrick. Gerrard. Neville. Lampard tries to get Downing in. They stay patient, doesn't they? They're going to drive you mad here. Final ball, isn't it? All the time. Petrov. Macedonia themselves felt they did rather well in the second half in Skopje, and they seem to have picked up certainly. Uh, from a morale point of view, where they left off. They're playing with a certain amount of uh, assurance here, so far. Noveski. Crouch to Lampard. Rooney. They look to have one or two quite competent defenders there, Mark. No, I think they've been good so far, Macedonia, John, and as good as anyone we've seen here for the last four or five games, I think. Downing. Now then, Crouch is coming in! Goalkeeper. Number to Grammar. Crouch, 11 goals in his last 10 England games. Five in three this season. This is Pandev, and they've got two runners to the left off if he played that wider. Macedonia were two against one down this side. Well, Nari, Gary Neville had gone into cover as well, he was almost playing as a centre-back, and I think Stephen Gerrard was caught a little bit ball-watching. Mitrovsky, this is would have been Petrov, but uh, didn't carry that far. Here's Carrick. On this side is Gerrard. Rooney's cutting across the box now. Can he find him? No, Igor Mitreski was there. Peter Crouch. Neville. And they're not finding the final pass yet. That was uh, Lazarevsky starting Macedonia on the attack. Here's Naumovsky. Lazarevsky made the run outside as well, and Ledley King forced to concede the corner to Macedonia. This will bring uh, Naveski and Mitreski forward, and uh, Sedlowski as well. That 
sedlowski has gone almost onto the goal line. Pandev's in the six-yard box as well. Peter Crouch back to help the defence. This is Mitreski. Does make a difference. I mean, six foot seven inch centre forward comes back and clears all those situations. I'd suggest you're England a little bit in the first 20, coming up to 25 minutes. A bit like the last 25 minutes in this uh, return game, where they, were, they weren't really in that much in control of the game and the passing wasn't particularly good. Those thoughts may be going through the mind of the coach. Here's Crouch, on to Rooney. Play on, says the German referee. One of the best in Europe, I believe, uh, Marcus Merck. Neville. Crouch. Rooney very anxious to get into the action, chasing around there. Complain to the referee, then he was, he was bear hugged in a challenge before. There's no doubt in his endeavour, is there? None whatsoever. This is Joao. Panta. Never on this side. Noveski gets the ball away. Oh, he's got it. Neville's got it back there, and Rooney nearly in. In all honesty, John Rooney didn't really want it in there. He wanted a bit just further over to the right, I think, but it was unlucky. Tandef, great shielder of the ball he is. Flag was up there anyway for an offside. to Cole seems to have got his troops well organized Katanec mm, extremely extremely well organized they also they just drop just into the halfway line offside really it's a classic isn't it way performance come and try and break us down and it will only be the width eventually that will do it for England Three up there for Macedonia when they get possession. Carrick. England are going to try and find a way of moving those defenders around, Mark, and opening them up, haven't they? Well, the other thing as well is St Stephen Gerrard is, is playing so narrow at the moment, and he's just taking Petrov in, in amongst the bodies all the time. Downing. Early ball, not a good one. Better service required than that. Maznov. Yeah, the surface isn't good, is it? At all, the surface. This is Carrick to Gerard. to Gerard, early ball to Rooney, Gerard's got it back! Six white shirts in there as Gary Neville prepares to take the throw. It's aimed towards Peter Crouch, it got there. But England aren't getting to the second ball at the moment. Petrov. Pandev twice involved in this attack. He's so good at holding the ball. But he can't seem to find the uh, pass that would have released Naumovsky. But neither goalkeeper 
Really being extended here, Mark. Now the goalkeeper's made a save, have they? Absolutely. Here's Crouch. There's Alexander Mitrescu. Maznov. They're quite comfortable on the ball, some of these, aren't they? No, they're very comfortable on the ball, and we've got a few options, and I think they really posed England any problems in terms of going forward, apart from when Pandev almost got in, but they've really restricted England very, very comfortably. Half an hour we've been playing here at Old Trafford. Here's Steven Gerrard on the left, he's away! Rooney's in the middle, Crouch is backing him up. Gerrard's cross, it's too long. It's a little bit unfortunate in the choice of the cross, wasn't it? If you watch it, I mean, he nicks it fantastically, Gerard, and he's away. And left foot, he gets his head up, has a little look, and I don't know whether he thought Crouch was maybe going to the far post and really sort of middle of the goal. Now, John Terry. It's his. Uh... 33rd cap today, the uh, New England captain. Ashley Cole on the far side, his 55th. So there's plenty of experience in Steve McLaren's team just at the moment. It's a question really of whether they can fulfil the potential that was there but wasn't fulfilled in uh, Germany. Pandev. Ball in for Nelmovsky, Gary Neville having to cover, which he did. Just gets himself into great positions, doesn't he? Just spots a danger before it happens. Well, Gary Neville, a survivor of Euro 96, he's been playing international football for a decade. Here's Steven Gerrard. Coming inside, Steven Gerrard, lofted cross to Arno, oh straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Final ball yet again. Yes, it's uh, somewhat frustrating for England at the moment. Unable to prise apart this uh, well-constructed Macedonian rearguard. Steve McLaren was anxious to say to the team that they've got to try and move one or more of the three centre-backs out of position to get through. That hasn't happened so far. This is Namovsky for Macedonia. He's got Novoski forward as well. Pandev comes short, tries to shake off Ledley King. Robert Petrov there with the throw. That's it back too. He's got a oh, it's offside, I think. Well, it's dull so far, isn't it? Yeah. Substitutes behind uh, Steve McCann and Terry Venables. Seven named, three permitted. Rooney. Neville. That one reach Rooney. And uh, that's Pandev for Macedonia, and he's got Shumilikovsky coming down this side. England have lost that ball. This is Mitreski. Maznov. Jumelikovsky. Pandev. Nelmovsky. Mm. He could play for England crossing it like that. Some 
sections of this uh, 71,000 crowd. They had a good round of applause for the England ladies team before the kickoff here today. They've qualified for the Women's World Cup in China next September. Came out in their tracksuits to receive a good ovation. Here's Downing. Crouch trying to force his way past uh, Noveski there. Now this is the clash that happened in Skopje when Crouch claimed that Noveski pulled his shirt. Yeah. Looks as though he's thinking the same again. Should have had a penalty. On this occasion, no. But the, the other, just the other point with that though, John, is better from Downing. Took the fullback on, it was a much better cross this time. Pandev nipping in here for Macedonia, blocked off by King. As we go into the last ten minutes of the first half at Old Trafford. I think the half-time team talk from Steve McLaren will be two things, width and patience in key areas. Now Namovsky, he's got uh, Pandev just inside him, pulling away now. Still Namovsky, Mitreski. They've got seven forward here, Macedonia. Lazarevsky with the cross. Petrov came in there with his left foot. Just as well for England, it wasn't on target. I think he loses Stevie Gerrard in the end. Comes in Gary Neville, who's already marking so He has to go, and he's the nearest man, but I think Stephen Gerrard just let him run. Did well with the cross, certainly. And here, look, he comes in, Petrov is completely free. That was a warning signal for England. Because these games become that bit harder when you don't get the early goal, don't they? It's given Macedonia a good half hour to settle down. Here's Pandev. It's a really accomplished player on the ball. Petrov. Now Mopsky. Tries to skip past Neville, who's penalised. That's what you get from the frustration in the end, that you try and win the ball back instead of staying on your feet. Give a free kick away. Noveski and Sedlowski have both gone forward for the free kick. Poor delivery that was. And it's given Robinson the chance to get Cole away. And racing out now, and Macedonia are racing back. Here's Lampard. I don't think Cole could be expected to get that. Oof, really trying to close down the goalkeeper. Crouch. Gerard's having to make a run from the side. Over here. You know what, John, apart from a, probably a two to three minute spell where the England were raining crosses in, Macedonia have been extremely comfortable here. And the three at the back look um, very composed. Yeah, cigarettes and slippers, isn't it, for those three? Here's Sedlowski. Lazarevsky. Quite a bit, clever bit of play that. Mo Maznov. Pandev coming in and Gary Neville having to head out. Corner. Well, Ashley Cole, I don't see Ashley Cole, it was, it was never a challenge in this, just before that replay. He just let his man skip past him far too easily. In the end, Neville has to deal with it yet again. I don't want to tempt fate, but Macedonia scored direct from a corner when they last played in England. He just tempted it. I know. Our left footer, this is not going in direct, it's, it's don't not worry. the same, the, the guy that did it isn't on the pitch, actually, at the moment. Sedlowski getting up there. And here he is again, but the whistle's gone. 
But the winner, sorry, the winner of the first header was Peter Crouch again. Indeed. Artin Sakiri, who's on the bench tonight, 33 years old now. He's the man who scored from that corner at Southampton. See the guy who used to play at West Brom? Yes, he had a spell at uh, West Brom. Not for very long. He's uh, won 71 caps. Balling character. Yeah. It's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Shaven, I should say, probably, to lighter. <clears throat> Here's Gerard. Pander. Now Mofsky. And he's taking on Gerard, and he's away. He's got nobody in the centre at the moment. The other just didn't believe he was going to get there. Couldn't sum that up any better. He did. I think maybe maybe the fact they were surprised after his left foot cross before, they thought, no, this is not going to happen. He does extremely well. He gets away from Stevie Gerrard, and you rightly said, there's absolutely nobody in there whatsoever. They just didn't believe him, did they? <laughs> <laughs> King. Lampard. England getting a bit bogged down at the moment in midfield. This is Carrick. Now then, Downey. Forward run by Lampard here. He's turned it down the defender. Should he have passed it to Crouch in the first place, Mark? Well, I think the position he's in, he must think, let's go for goal, but there's no doubt about it, a little layoff for Crouch. Crouch is in a great position, but first thing, you know, the ball actually through to him was excellent. Now, he's tapping himself on the head. I'm not sure whether he thinks I should have scored or I should have led it off to Crouch. Either way, the, the uh, goalkeeper did extremely well. Yes, I think we've got to give uh, Nikolovsky a bit of credit there for the way he came out and shut Lampard down. Lampard will be winning his 50th cap if he plays in Croatia on Wednesday. 12 goals so far for England. Just got the official attendance. In fact, it's better than I thought. It's 72,062. A record for an England game outside Wembley. This is Gerard. Downing. Carrick. Neville's coming up on this side if he's needed. Helped on by Gerard. He's now gone down on the edge of the area. And then, Sorry, Rooney thought he was fouled, didn't he? He did. And then Carrick missed a tackle. And look what's happened here. Shumalikovsky has broken away. Fortunately for England, his pass was underweighted and uh, the danger is gone. There are a few tackles flying in at the minute. That's Maznov, the number nine, who's run the ball back for Macedonia. There have been a couple of uh, penalty shouts by England in this first half. I think John. Rooney was just outside the box. Yeah, I think he? he was, yeah. A couple of minutes left in the first 45 here. It's Mitrevsky for a very... Well, I think it's fair to say... Decent Macedonia side. Well, not only that, John, they are extremely comfortable here, aren't they? That, that's the key, and the goalkeeper hasn't really... I can't recall him having to make an outstanding save. He just nipped that one off Lampard a, a minute or two ago. Apart from that, really, very, very comfortable. The other thing as well is with McLaren. It'll be interesting to see how hard he is with the England team at half-time. Yes, it will be. I said in the week that he does sometimes... Raise his voice or lose his temper. Now, this is the appeal on Rooney. What do you think, Mark? I think it's a foul. It's, it's Petrov on him, and he just clatters into the back of him, stops him getting the ball. I do think it's a foul. Well, the appeal went unheeded. Rooney's now rather angry that uh, now Momsky is spending so much time on the ground. It's the second time he's been injured. It's a good limp, though, that. <laughs> and, and they've sent uh, Sedlovsky forward again and Noveski.
And Sedlowski jumps with Paul Robinson, who had to get the punch there. Petrov sends it back in. Well, that's anybody's, really. who thought England would be comfortably ahead by now have got to think again Rooney couldn't latch onto that but it might come to him again Downing Rooney right on half time Downing Crouch waiting Rooney again oh. made as well. one minute of added time at the end of the first half here this is Nelmovsky Andes made a run down the left. Shulinikovsky. Petro. Petrovsky. Lazarevsky's away again on that side. Oh, oh. Fortunately for England, that was Maznov. Macedonia haven't made the most of their opportunities, but overall, across the pitch mark, they've been just about as good as England in this first half. I have to say, I think the football's been better. I think the build-up play has been better, and their awareness of uh, the man on the ball and where he wants his man to run also. And so it's uh, very, very ordinary from England for me, and Macedonia played extremely well. And that man's got a lot of talking and thinking to do at half-time. Frustrating for England and Rooney. Macedonia supporters happy enough. I think Katanets has got a slightly easier half-time team talk than Steve McLaren, who must be disappointed in uh, England's play in the final third of the field. Anyway, we'll see what happens in the way of second-half changes. Uh, so far, then, Macedonia holding their own here. They drew at Southampton four years ago, and at half-time at Old Trafford, it's England nil, Macedonia nil. Step it more up. More urgency, better passing, better crosses, more chances to take them yeah. in the score. Possible changes, Alan? No, I, I, not, not, not yet, I don't think. I think he'll give it 15 or 20 minutes. Just try and get Gary Neville and Ashley Cole forward. It's difficult because they're leaving three up front. They just have to be a little bit more braver, I think. Yes, Gal. <laughs> don't forget. Don't forget following us on BBC One. There's Robin Hood. But for now, it's back to the second half with our very own Maid Marion and Little John. What about that? Um, Axo Stoikov, number 20, 23 years old from Partizan Belgrade, has come on. They've taken off Nalmovsky, who was injured twice in the first half. So Macedonia make the first change. They were diligent, determined, deliberate in the first half in the way they played, Mark. And it's down to England now to change all that. Yeah, the boys in the studio are absolutely right. With urgency, patience, you'll whoop them. England, of course, with options from the bench if it should stay nil-nil for a bit longer. John Terry with the uh, job of just inspiring people around him. Of course, it's uh, still early days in this group. Israel also started the day with six points. They're playing in Russia this afternoon. And everybody again in action on Wednesday. So we'll get a clearer picture, but um, playing 12 games, it's quite a long qualifying process. Here's Gerard. Shemelikovsky. Just let me know if you detect any change in pattern, Mark. Well, straight away, John. I mean, Ger Gerard's come in way from over on the right-hand side to that inside left position, and I think it's part of England's problem. And just get yourself out there in a, in a position of width and you've got to stretch this team, everybody knows it. Carrick gave the ball away there, this is Petrov. Stoikov. Carrick in a very deep position here, he's found Lampard. Downing. Cole. Again, and Lampard really trying to open up the play here and find Gerard. 
but he couldn't pick out Rooney, although Gerard was fouled when the ball had gone. This is going to be a card for the number three, Robert Petrov. But that position, John, that, that's what England want. Because all of a sudden, Lampard can change the play with a 40-yard diagonal pass, and immediately you're, you're inviting mistakes by the opposition. Now, he didn't really have to go through there, surely, as late as that. He's put his team in a very vulnerable position here because John Terry is forward, so is Ledley King. Downing to take the free kick for England. John Terry... Oh, Lampard! Lampard got in front of Terry, forces the corner. Good save. I would just suggest you, Johnny, he didn't probably get as much on it, Frank Lampard, as he would have liked to. Terry's still there though. King's up as well. It's going to come out to Carrick. Peter Crouch pulls away far post. That's where it's looking. Downing. I just think it was worth an effort from Downing. Pulled it down his left inside. It's worth a hit there. There he is again. Maybe too early to suggest this, Mark, but I just wonder if he might think about 3-5-2 at some point. I'm sure he is already. The time being, England are having to scurry back and Pandek has been brought down by Gerrard, and I think there's going to be a card here. And if there is, yes there is, and Steven Gerrard misses Croatia. His second yellow, he was booked in Macedonia and now he's booked again. I think it's a lunge that gets him the yellow, John. It is. Well, Gerard will not be able to play in Zagreb on Wednesday. And that might mean a change of uh, emphasis or formation or personal, well, it mean personnel change for yeah. sure. I was just going to say, as that happened, funnily enough, would uh, Sean Wright Phillips come on at some point here to try and give England a bit more width? Becomes even more relevant as well, bearing in mind what ha what's just happened to well, Gerard. Exactly, it? So yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I was just going to say to you before as well, it's important for England, with Petrov being booked, who's marking Gerard, to have him out that side all the time to take him on, and now they've both been cautioned. Lazarevsky has put the ball down, the number 14. Sedlowski is standing behind him. That Sedlowski looks to be lining up a shot here. There's the substitute, Stoikov nearly getting in. The tackle by Ledley King, very aware. Macedonia looking lively here. And England at the moment are just not quite sure where they're at. Because I suppose somebody will bring up the David Beckham debate again. If <laughs> well, the boys have already, haven't they? So yes, yeah, yeah. It's not going to go away for a while, that. I just meant in terms of, well, the squad's picked anyway now for Croatia, isn't it, really? So here we are, five minutes into the second half. Peter Crouch getting no change at all there. This is uh, Gerard. Not an easy match for Crouch, this is it. They seem to have got him bottled up. Well, not only that, John, you know, there, there are three of them in there, aren't there? Because Ro Rooney's kind of trying to drop off and and nick the play together in a little bit sort of a deeper position and this is the header isn't it from Frank Lampard didn't really get all of it did he just wonder if John Terry slightly got in his way there that's King There's one for Crouch to battle with uh, Sedlowski for. I think the thing about Sedlowski as well with, with Crouch is, who's marking him is that he's just making it extremely difficult for him, isn't he? Well, the back three of Macedonia are making it difficult for England. They can't drag them out of their positions, can they? This is Maznov. And now the front three. As Gary said at half-time, you don't get many teams coming away from home in international football and playing three up. And look at this. Oh, he's offside, Mitreski.
Lampard. Crouch. Now answers the referee. Crouch stops him to chest, but here's Pandev. Stoikov running up front against King. He looks uh, nippy, this substitute. Pandev is trying to retrieve that on the far side. Neville. But he did quite well when he came on, I think, in Skopje, that number 20. No, yeah, he is lively. Mm. Sensing that England need a bit of a spur here. Might be Jermaine Defoe. I was wondering about that. Rooney. Can't get the ball through to Crouch. Defoe, who of course scored twice against Andorra, is on the bench today because of Rooney's return. The other out and out striker that McLaren has got in reserve is Darren Bent. Charlton. Score caught my eye there at half time, Mark. Republic of Ireland losing in Cyprus. Thanks very much. 2 1, I think it was. Here's Carrick. Downing. Oh, and Gerard's off on a run here. He was nudged a bit by Petrov. Not sure that was a final. I don't think it was a final no, score. No, it was, it was the latest time, score. Yeah, it? of course. John Terry just pulled up there, Mark, on a run, limping slightly. Neville, Lampard. And England standing around and watching again, and uh, can't do that against this Macedonia side. It's a good breakout by Noveski, who's a defender. In fact, he's found uh, Pandev. This is Maznov. Put everybody back again, it's a corner. Sedlowski's going forward. Noveski is already there. Oh, that was mighty close. It's uh, Mitrevsky, Alexander Mitrevsky with the header. John Terry misses it, for just see. Just miss it, jumps a little bit early. I don't think Terry's at full speed, Mark. He seems to have hurt his foot. He'll battle on there, won't he? Well, he is indestructible, isn't he? Yeah, Ferdinand already out with a back injury. England don't want to lose the other first-choice centre-back. This is Rooney. And they've also shown a propensity to get on, on the break as well. That's Shuli Mikovsky and uh, Stoikov on the far side has shown a turn of pace there against King. Oh. That's actually a very good save, this John by Robinson, because I'm sure when the ball struck, it, the striking see absolutely nothing of the goal here. He must have some pace to get away from Ledley King. Great position by Robinson. Look, he can see nothing, can he? And in the end, he blocks it. Well, it's the first really stretching save that Robinson's had to make, but um, Stoikov has made an impact coming on as a substitute here for Macedonia. Corner, said Lossky on the near post. <laughs> Nobody was quite sure where that was going to drop it. Oh, it's put opposite. Shilly Mikovsky on Rooney. Yeah. Gerard tries to pick out Downing. It's a better ball. And now they want some service in from this flank. Downing is taking on Mitrevsky. He's an accomplished centre half, that guy. 
used to play for Spartak Moscow in the Champions League, Mitreski. This is Lampard. Carrick. Gerard. Gary Neville starts to make a run right hand side. It's a bit cramped in the middle. Carrick. Now Gerard's cross. Can he find Crouch? Oh, he went for one of those bicycle kicks. Possession now, plenty of it. This is Carrick. Rooney. Oh, he did well to hold on there, Lampard. This is Downing. Crouch coming in far side. Good save by the goalkeeper. Oh, Gary Neville. Never scored for England. That was one of his better opportunities. Well, that's an excellent good cross, the first thing. Excellent head as well by Crouch. It looked for a moment like it was over the line. Such a good save, and oh, he's got to hit the target. Just clip the top of the crossbar, I think, Gary Neville. What a chance here. Good save by the goalkeeper, but he only managed to push the ball out to Neville. Yeah, just needed a little bit of composure. Good header from Crouch. Decent save, and just clips the top of the crossbar. And I wonder how many opportunities as good as that Gary Neville's had in his 83 internationals. Not many. That's a handball. looking for Rooney, trying to get behind Noveski, and he has, this is Rooney, Crouch is waiting in the centre. It's a better spell this for England, Crouch seemed to sense it, Neville trying to, no, it's too long, pass from Gerrard. It's a better spell, John, because it's played with a little bit of pace, isn't it, and all of a sudden the pace and the width is making all the difference. The problem Rooney does extremely well to get in front of the defender, and then if you notice this, you know this is a crisis of confidence he's going through. Every decision he's taking is the wrong one at the moment. Well, we've been playing nearly an hour, and Steve McLaren's got some decisions to make soon about whether he leaves it as it is. That's John Terry back to Robinson, or whether he brings on reinforcements. This stage in Scotia, of course, England had taken the lead. Okay. Goalkeeper responded well there, Nikolovsky, didn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not greatly convinced by the, the sort of par where he put it, but he got away with it, shall we say? Yeah, well, he had to get to the header, didn't he? And he, sure. he managed that, so we'll give him a little bit of credit, I think. <laughs> This is Terry, and England are still puzzled by how to break down Macedonia. And there's some European Championship qualifier. Crouch. Tumbles down. Oh, he's got the free kick. I don't think uh, Igor Matreski was particularly well treated by the referee there, but a free kick to England it is. Well, it wouldn't take much of a nudge to push him over, does it? No, his hand definitely came out though, John. Yes, it did. It did on the replay, yep. So, Lampard, would he have a strike from here, I wonder? This is one place where perhaps you do think back to David Beckham, or Lo Old Trafford, certainly one place, but mm. uh, on, on the pitch. <clears throat> Rooney and Lampard on the ball. One thing about the referee as well, it gives you a full ten yards here. I think he's a first class referee, actually. Lampard to one side to Gerard. Hmm. Tried to hit it too hard and in the end sort of takes a neck off it. Some fairly worried frowns down there just at the moment. See Jermaine Defoe behind Steve McLaren, he's an option. Up goes Pandev. Rooney chasing the goalkeeper. Now then, 
and Maznov coming down this side. John Terry seems to have shaken off whatever was troubling him. King. This is Gerard with Crouch, just to his left. But he can't get by Igor Mitreski. Gerard might, and Gerard has. But not the second time. Gerard looks at the referee, nothing doing there. Pandev. Oh, Shulimikovsky. Pandev again. Shulimikovsky is offside. It's a lovely little ball in by Pandev, isn't it? Just strayed the wrong side. It's about yard past Gary Neville, I think. Got to give Macedonia a few marks for their ambition as well as their durability. They made this a real contest. I'll tell you what, it's making the result in Skopje look extremely good. Here's Crouch. Oh no, Mitreski again. I think the number five is an early candidate for man of the match. Neville. Mikowski. Macedonia still working away with current attention. No way of them, but they've been overawed. Katanets' team by this occasion. Lampard has found Downey. Cole is outside him. Crouch moves towards the far side of the penalty area. Comes in now, Peter Crouch! Certainly got it's a good little ball in from Cole and he's given the opportunity in the room to st stick it in there. Problem for Crouch, Johnny, he's having to make the pace on the header himself because it stood up a little bit for him. Well, 65 minutes is usually the optimum time for substitutions and we're coming that way. This is Lampard. Shulamikovsky. Hey, when they win it there, Macedonia, they're not slow to break out in numbers. They've got uh, four right up here. King intercepts. Now they may have overcommitted because Crouch is away on the right hand side. Gary Neville is coming up to join him now. What a good tackle that is. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to go the other way. What an absolute waste of possession. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, especially when Neville had made the run as well. Now then. Stoikov trying to get down the centre against King. It's a loose kick by the goalkeeper, it's uh, Lazarevsky. I think Ledley King has been outstanding for England. Well, defenders tend to have uh, dominated this game so far, but I think we've got... This is Crouch, and he's looking for Rooney here! Is this the moment for Wayne Rooney? He's gone wide! Goalkeeper saves! Well, I just wonder with a better first touch. It's a lovely ball and it's not the greatest of touches by Rooney. He forces himself wide and in the end it's a comfortable save. Ledley King has come forward for the corner with John Terry. Looked as though that might have just been the breakthrough for England. Terry! Oh. It ran away from King, rather. Got some scores coming in. Scotland still 0-0 with France after 63 minutes. Republic of Ireland have got back to 2-2 in Cyprus. Stephen Ireland and Richard Dunn, their scorers. Neville's cross. King is up. And Pandev. How easily he shakes them off. And he's got Shulimikovsky coming down the centre here. And Pandev wants it back. Goes ahead now. Shulimikovsky again. Mitrevsky, Alexander. Scotland nil, France nil, as I said, 63 minutes gone. Half-time Cyprus 2, Republic of Ireland 2. And a full-time... That's the referee. Full-time score from England's group. Russia 1, Israel 1. That means Israel has seven points. Here's Crouch. 
Russia have only played two games, they've drawn them both. You'll see the league table at the end of the game because we don't know what's going to happen here in the remaining 24 minutes. And this wasn't quite the exercise England were expecting before going off to Croatia next week. It's Carrick. Don't want to be dropping home points here. Crouch. Oh, goodness me. It's given that straight to Mesnov. And now it's Pandev. And this is Mitreski. Alexander Mitreski is getting in here. Oh, Cole had to come across and help King. And then Mitreski brought Cole down. It's a couple of occasions, a bit like King. As the Coast come in, rescued England just at the last moment. We're halfway through the second half at Old Trafford. And this is a bit of a turn-up so far. Macedonia have come and played with far more adventure and resilience, perhaps, than England might have expected. And England themselves have not responded yet. Can they now? Gerard, crouch far side. Gerard was just coming onto that, John, and Wayne Rooney decided to take it off his foot. Pandev. He's got Petrov outside him, he's got Stoichkov just here. And now Lampard. Rooney wants it played early. He's checked now. In fact, uh, Lampard has picked out a possibly a better ball. Gerard's cross, crowd! Oh, it wasn't, the defender got there first. Downing! Oh, dear. Just composure for Downing, just composure. They can't cross it, just have another touch. He just thought for a second that Crouch is going to get on the end of that, and then... Oh. Wasteful, uh, wasn't it? Yes, it was, I'm afraid. It was. Well, Macedonia, as I said at the very beginning of the afternoon, 25 to 1 outsiders. Here's Rooney's chance. It was just that touch, John, that just took him away from the goal, really, and his anger was very difficult. I think we're going to see Wright Phillips soon. And if we do, I wouldn't mind betting it's for Downing, which would be the change of personnel and maybe system that um, we did speak about earlier. Mm. Crouch. Or they could just stick Gerard on the left for his play. Well, they, for could. Tall, they? they could, yeah. Crowley sense the change is imminent. Ball back in play though, they'll have to wait. This is Cole. Lampard to Gerrard. Downing outside him. Crouch and Rooney wait. Neville comes in far side again. Now they can make the change. It is Downing off. It's a ninth cap for Sean Wright Phillips, who played so much of his football here in Manchester before he joined Chelsea. Only ten Premiership starts last season, only two this season. Straight on the left. So you think that yes, it looks like a straight switch, doesn't it? Certainly at the moment. Yep. Crouch. Oh, he's away. And Wright Phillips is in already. Sean Wright Phillips. Oh. What an impact that would have been. He would probably have beaten Teddy Sheringham's record there for the quickest ever goal by an England substitute. Just too close to the goalkeeper, wasn't it? That's got the crowd going again. Macedonia, though, seem unshaken. Mitreski looking here for Lazarevsky. I think certainly the England performance in the second half it has created chances. Well, Alan Hansen will be pleased with this. Scotland won, France nil. Gary Caldwell, what a what a marvellous result that would be for the Scots. This is Carrick for England. That game, of course, still in progress. This is uh, Noveski into Pandev. Dave Owen oh, Noveski's gone again. And Ashley Cole, as he did in Skopje, has cleared with his goalkeeper beaten. His defensive decisions in the last 20 minutes, Ashley Cole have saved England. That was Noveski, the uh, left-sided defender who found himself up in unfamiliar territory. 
Martin again even saw him coming. This is Terry to Gerard. Now then, Rudy's coming in now, and Lampard's following up. Pandev and uh, Stoikov again. Shumilikovsky, free kick, fouled by Sean Wright Phillips. Yeah, the game's getting extremely stretched as well at the moment. Chances both ends. It's not the worst nil nil I've ever seen, I tell you. No. It's... The other thing about England, while they haven't played particularly well over the course of the game, in the second half they have made three or four good opportunities. This is Petrov for Macedonia. Well, if we get to the last 15 minutes, we're going to start having to talk about the possibility of uh, two home points dropped here. This is Terry. And that was not on the cards. Crouch heads on. Carrick. Now then, Rooney. And again, it's Igor Mitrescu who gets the foot in. It's England's throw, and Rooney can take it with a player out the game there. Gerard. Here's Crouch. Oh, Lampard attempting the overhead. Shumilichowski. Pandev. Stoikov. Pandev again. Nazarevsky. Flustered Macedonia, aren't they? Well, they just haven't changed. They just kept the ball all the time. Had lots and lots of patience. Few opportunities. Well, I think there's going to be a change here. Jermaine Defoe has come to the line, and the number nine is held up. And so Wayne Rooney, on his return, is substituted. Still below his best mark. Yes, I think so, John. Um, commitment, can't question it, work rate, everything about that, but just that, just those decisions, you know, which makes a difference. If you look at him now, he's actually thinking about making the decisions rather just than coming naturally to him when he's at his best, but he's still a, he's still a kid, isn't he? Jermaine Defoe, it's his 24th birthday today. Scored twice against Andorra. Can he do it again for England? Pandev. So, it's the end of his day. Lazarevsky. Plugs up, ball was out. I'll tell you what, poor Andy Johnson sat at home with his hamstring, isn't it? Well, I was, yes. I think he would have been involved, no doubt about that. Mm, I think he would. 15 minutes to go. England nil, Macedonia nil. Good flick there by Steven Gerrard to Wright Phillips. Now it's Gerrard again. Cole well forward. Wright Phillips to Carrick. Defoe far side of the box. And good interception by Neveski. Stoikov again. Oh, he does like a run. And he's, Kings had to go across and help out. But uh, Shumilikovsky follows. Oh, and uh, Stoikov goes down. I don't like that. Referee doesn't either. He says play on. The injured player is riding around. But England are allowed to continue. Oh, and now Crouch has had a face-off in the centre circle. Referee's got to intervene there. There are players gathering round. Peter Crouch is at the heart of that. It all started with the injured player. Right, the thing is, the referee sees he's injured. Why didn't he just blow his whistle and stop England from playing? They were right under his nose and all of a sudden he then decides to stop it when they've had five or six different passes. I don't think there's anything wrong with him. I think it's a great tackle from Ledley King. And they just, they just have a tendency to fall over. 
That's an excellent tackle. Things began to get a bit ugly there in the middle of the field when uh, Crouch fell out with the Macedonians. Referee, meantime, is walking across to... Uh, the question you have to ask is, why all of a sudden did the referee decide to stop the game? Why not straight away? Just waiting to see if he takes any action over the scuffle that uh, threatened to break out. Stoichkov will be back on very, very quickly, you watch. Well, it's all time that's got to be added on, Mark. Crouch is still having discussions. It was only a little bit of pushing and shoving. Wouldn't have been a fight that, would but it? That was a bit close. Now then, England on the attack again with Gary Neville. This is Cole. Lampard. All the touch on was by Gerard. The interception was by number two, Noveski. Those three at the back have played outstandingly well for Macedonia. Stoikov now being booed after that incident on the far side. Pandev. That was Defoe to Wright Phillips. Cole. Lazarevsky gets the ball from him. You almost feel that Macedonia believe they could go and win this. I think they do. As you rightly said, they tried to keep the three up front as well all the time. Long ball by Carrick, trying to find Defoe. <laughs> well, Macedonia are within 12 minutes and a bit of injury time of equaling their achievement in Southampton four years ago. Anxiety written all over the face of the England coach. You really wouldn't want to go to Croatia with a nil-nil draw here behind you, would you? No, better than a one-nil defeat, though. Yeah, yes. <clears throat> John Terry. Lampard. Just sat every single thing that looked a little lost in that midfield area. Defoe didn't manage to get hold of that either. This is Maznov. Interception by Carrick. But if Macedonia hold on here, they'll celebrate as though they've won the World Cup. The thing is, John, they're not really having to hold on, no, are they? No, they're not. England will try and dig something out. That's Crouch. But uh, Defoe was well policed anyway in the centre. This is King. Neville outside him. Ledley King well forward in this attack. Now then, can he carry it? Defoe's in the centre with Crouch. Neville is backing up again. And Crouch comes in now with the goalkeeper. He dealt with the ball and with Crouch. Very yeah, well the goalkeeper, didn't he? Strong. Into the last ten minutes here at Old Trafford and uh, Macedonia, every bit as good as England. And perhaps, perhaps even better. This is Carrick. Right, Phillips. Inside to Lampard. That was a gamble, wasn't it? He knows. And Katanex there, he did a great job with Slovenia a few years ago. And he's doing well with Macedonia now. Looks like he's going to make a change as well, I think. John Terry cut the back of his head, really. It's a free kick.
forward by King. Now then, Crouch. First try and effort by Peter Crouch. That's good skill, isn't it? Just a long ball in by King. He realises Crouch, the defender's not going to get there. Three touches and he was unlucky. And the keeper scuttling across there, didn't he? Terry Crouch again, Lampard looking on the far side for Defoe number three there Robert Petrov gone about their business in a very workmanlike way Macedonia here the passing has been crisp their control has been assured and they now want to make a change and bring on number 18 Darko Tazewski who came on in the first game Midfield player and Pandev, who's shown touches of real quality here, plays in Serie A, Italy. He's going off. Yeah, the way the way he's dealt with the ball all day, Pandev has been exceptional. Just kept it, kept it, played players in all the time, and lots and lots of patience. And he deserves a round of applause from the colony of Macedonian supporters. Right, Phillips. Peter Crouch goes down. Sedlowski is penalised. Then there's a little bit of nonsense between Matrevsky and Wright Phillips. It's a free kick to England. Terry and King on their way again. Can the captain claim something here? Peter Crouch has gone in behind John Terry. Terry goes across now, tries to leave the gap. Well, I don't know what happened there, perhaps you'll tell us, Mark. Well, the referee's given a free kick for Crouch holding the defender, and Crouch seems to think it was the other way around because he wasn't being allowed to get on the end of the ball. Very difficult to see from those pictures, but it is, it's, it, it is definitely Crouch involved. Yeah. Hasn't had the best of luck with decisions over these two games against Macedonia, has he? He scored the goal, of course, in Skopje. What would England give for one now? Seventy-two thousand people watching this game, and seventy thousand of them wondering whether they're going to see a goal from England. This is Wright Phillips. Still Wright Phillips. He's opened things up here. It's Gerrard. Oh, he's hit the bar. England's best effort so far, with nearly eighty-five minutes gone. Carrick, free kick. Oh, what a belter from Steven Gerrard. Great play as well from right foot, just, just committing defenders, as is his want. Ashley Cole will take the free kick, John Terry's in there again. Oh no he won't, he's going to leave it for Lampard. We're in the last five minutes. Terry's signalling to Lampard where he wants this one put. Crouch has gone far side again. Here comes King. Very, very difficult for that. You know, the ball coming across you, John, to be able to deal with. This is the right Phillips run. Brilliant, wasn't he? Love a little ball into Gerard and super strike. Oof. Made the crossbar tremble. The problem is, England haven't made Macedonia tremble often enough. Game being interrupted now in these closing stages by a series of free kicks. Paul Robinson will come all the way out to. Drive this one forward. Goes towards Crouch. Goalkeeper coming a long way here. And he made it, sort of. Cole. And well played. This is uh, number 18, Sazewski, who's just come on. Mitrevsky. Good break. Stoikov far side. This is Lazarevsky. Deflection. John Terry blocks. Now, Wright Phillips, Crouch, Defoe, it's a good break by England, oh, 
Well, he's still got uh, Lampard and Neville on that side. Neville's cross. Defoe was there. Still there, Jermaine Defoe. Trying to make something out of very little, it's a goal kick. And just for a moment, it looked a really good advantageous break for England. Just broke down really in the last stages, isn't it? Well, we can't look at dress announcer uh, telling everybody it is the biggest ever crowd for a home game outside Wembley for England. That's no consolation for Steve McLaren and Terry Venables just at this moment. They weren't expecting to be in the 88th minute with the score at 0-0. Once again, a reminder that this would mean two home points dropped in the group. Here's Cole. Right, Phillips. We're looking for a grand finale now. Lampard, Carrick, Crouch heads on, but the goalkeeper will gather this. I think what Crouch is saying to Carrick, give me a shout, I could have held that up. I didn't know he had any time. As a former defender yourself, Mark, I'm sure you've admired, for all England's frustration, the Macedonian back three have been immovable. Yeah, and very, very good. I will say, though, about England, John, and it is an under-par performance, but they have made some good chances in the second half. Let's see if they can make one more here. This is Lampard. Crouch is waiting again by the penalty spot. Cole. Neville's made a run on the far side. Carrick chips forward. Still the red shirts. Close the gaps. Run back by Carrick. Gerard. Diagonal ball towards Crouch. He's got it down, Crouch. Goalkeeper saves again. He's got to cross it, John. He just, he has to, he's not going to score from there. He did brilliantly, Crouch here, watch. Kid's a defender. He's got to lay it back. You don't score from that position. Frank Lampard to deliver what could be a vital corner. King comes near post. John Terry further over. Peter Crouch gets up now. Oh, virtually a, a diving header by the defender. We're in the 90th minute at Old Trafford. Nil-nil. Stoikov has lost the ball though. And Gerard tries to angle it across the goal and it goes out. Yeah, just hurried his cross a little bit. Well, it's going to have to happen in stoppage time now if it's going to happen at all for Steve McLaren's team. Macedonia. They shook uh, European football when they came to Southampton back in 2002. Took two points from Svenjor and Eriksson's team and now they're on the verge of doing the same to the new coach. Two extra minutes will be played. Tarzewski. Oh, look at this. Lazarevski. Stoikov coming in from the far side for Macedonia. Goes beyond him. Crowd urging England for one final effort. It's a long ball by Gerard. Petrescu's there again. So then, the last couple of minutes for England to pull something out. Ledley King. There's nobody there for England, not in that position. Tetsov can clear for Macedonia. Well, Mark, what, what about this? It's uh, a break by Maznov. Well, you have to credit Macedonia, there's any doubt about that. As you rightly said, the back three have been outstanding for them. I think the goalkeeper's done extremely well as well, but it is a below-par England performance for me. The important thing, though, John, is not to be beaten. I think you can never stress that enough in certainly the group stages. You're going to have an off day. If you can get a point from it, you have to take it. Wow. That's uh, the best you can say, really, about this performance and what looks like being this result. Peter Crouch, by the way, has just been penalised. It's a free kick to Macedonia with one minute of the extra time added to be played. And they're not going to hurry this. It's Sedlovsky, the captain. Maznov trying to turn uh, Ashley Cole. Terry is there for England. Jermaine Defoe is the target here. Right, Phillips takes the throw quickly, he finds Crouch. 
Sam really against England here. It's Carrick to Gerrard. Diagonal ball. Lampard's unmarked. Just for the first time there. Macedonia didn't close ranks. We're coming up to... Oof, on the far side, they nearly broke away. Now King is away. And this is the last attack. Ledley King's cross. Peter Crouch coming in now. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, he'd done everything right as well beforehand, and he? Ledley King did brilliantly. Stood the ball up for Crouch, and he's got the direction completely wrong. The referee has taken the ball, and Macedonia have pulled off one of the big shocks in the early stages of this European Championship qualifying competition. They've repeated their achievement down at St Mary's in the last tournament and they've held Steve McLaren's side to a goalless draw. Look at the celebrations in their corner of the ground there. And this is not the result that England were looking for, certainly not with Croatia away next Wednesday. There'll be a lot of misgivings, a lot of inquests. It's got real here for Steve McLaren for the first time. It's a final score at Old Trafford in Group E of England nil, Macedonia nil. Steven Gerrard came closest to giving England that much needed victory at the bar and there's Steve McLaren applauding the crowd but um, dare one say it's the honeymoon over for Steve. Uh, big test for him on Wednesday night. What a chance Peter Crouch had right at the death there. Well, this is how things look in Group E. Uh, England still topped the group after that goal of straw, but uh, that's because Israel drew in Russia and England lead on goal difference at the moment.